The purpose of this video is to point out the increasing garbage problem since the last few decades, current state of the garbage issue. How can technocentrism, system-centrism, and ecocentrism links to the topic? Show several garbage initiatives and show future of garbage initiative. Over the past 55 years, optimism about the creation of a modern technological utopia has been placed by a more realistic understanding of the force contributing to the world's problems. In 1962, Rachel Carson publishes Silent Spring. This book brought together research on toxicology, ecology, and epidemiology to suggest that agricultural pesticides were building to catastrophic levels. It shattered the assumption that the environment had an infinity capacity to absorb pollutant. Research on environmental effects began. In the 1970s, the first Earth Day was held to educate people on the environment. The World Watch Institute was established. In Canada, the Greenpeace campaign was launched. In the late 1970s, environmental catastrophes captured public attention, such as a Moco Canada oil spill and the Three Mile Island nuclear reactor leak. In the 1980s, the United Nations World Charter for Nature was published. In the United States, the World Watch Institute published its first state of the world report. It concluded, we are living beyond our means, largely by borrowing against future. In the 90s, the UN Conference on Environment and Development was held. In Japan, the Kyoto Climate Change Protocol was held. Got generated by individuals and families over a period of seven days. Observe the facial expressions of the parties. These photos were taken by an artist illustrating the amount of trash and garbage generated by ordinary individuals and families during the period of seven days. Some of the trash that was observed appears to be recyclable. The composed smiling faces and even the fancy dress of some of the photographs. Subjects are seen as uncomfortable. These shows the garbage leads to the out of sight or even out of mind attitude. Therefore, we are all uncomfortable with the existence and the amount of garbage we produce weekly. Half of the world trash is generated by Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development countries, who are categorized as rich and developing countries. Next is East Asia and Pacific region, who generates an art fifth of the trash. Least waste is produced by Africa and South Asia. Did you know that nearly all trash is generated by people living in cities? A World Bank report on municipal solid waste on simply trash warns of the potential costs of dealing with the ever-growing amount of trash. Can you guess how much trash the world city currently generates? It's an amazing 1.3 billion tons, which works out to be 1.2 kilos per city dollar per day. By 2025, this is expected to rise to 1.4 kilo per city dollar, which equates to a total of 2.2 billion tons. In China, by 2025, 1.4 billion tons will be thrown away compared to 520 million tons today, and the U.S. 700 million tons in 2025 compared to 620 million tons today. Food consumed by human and animals, for example, organic trash generates about 50% of global waste and then followed by paper and plastic, which sums up to 27%. The picture on the left shows slums adjoint the creek covered with trash in Manila, which the poor sift through to survive. On the right hand, the picture shows the mountain of waste, which was debris left behind by Hurricane Katrina in the US with no natural process of recycling. Every person in Australia has produced two tons of waste, and Australian as a nation collectively generate 43.8 million tons of waste between the years of 2006 and 2007. The states listing the top producers of waste are New South Wales, with 35%, Victoria, with 23%, and Queensland, with 18% between the years of 2006 and 2007. 
The Australian Capital Territory recycles 75% of the waste it generates, while Western Australia only recycles 33%. As an estimate, Australia as a nation only recycles 52% of its waste during the period of the 2006 and 2007. Although Australian growing economy has brought prosperity to many Australians, the increased use of resources has resulted in more waste being produced than never before. The city of Gold Coast has created a website to dedicate it just to the issue of waste. An experiment was conducted to show how fast garbage bag gets full. We used two locations, an Australian university eating area and a shopping mall food court in Brisbane. For this location, we did two observations in two different weekends and filmed for a period of 30 minutes each time. At the reverse, there was four bean sites. We had checked with the cleaner, as shown towards the end of our video, and was told that the beans had to get replaced twice every half of a day. At the shopping mall, we set up our observation on a weekend and filmed over a period of two hours. There were six bean sites in this area. We also checked with the cleaner, and were told that the beans had to get replaced four times every half of a day. With the videos we have captured, we checked with the cleaners while in charge to replace the garbage bags when it's full, and here are some statistics that we have gathered. It is shocking to see the amount of garbage that is actually collected over a day. As observed in the garbage that were collected in both garbage and recycling bin, it seems that there is a need to educate people on which trash is recyclable. In Ghana, Nepal, Mexico and other observing countries often lack the tax base and infrastructure needed to put systems into place. So residents and governments often burn piles of their trash in an open area, removing the garbage from the land but transferring it to the skies. These gases are greenhouse gases that can destroy the Earth's ozone layer and contribute to the significant climate change or global warming. Pollution from human activities, especially agriculture, washes into streams, lakes, estuaries and oceans. According to the World Resources Institute, inside the roughly 1.3 billion tons of food loss or waste every year worldwide and 43 gallons of water, there are three popular established initiatives to save the environment. To reducing what you waste is a great way to reduce your impact on the environment from thinking differently about what you buy to using reusable items too and composting at home there are lots of ways to make a real difference we all have things at home that we don't need or want anymore whether it's clothes sitting in our wardrobes old curtains a duvet cover store in a cupboard electricals we don't use anymore or furniture that just won't fit there is ways someone who can use the things that we can to recycling, which is the process of material waste into new, useful products. This is done to reduce the use of raw materials that would have been used. Recycling also uses less energy and it is a great way of controlling air, water and land pollution. Households can sort out the waste themselves and place them into the right bags for collection. This makes the work less difficult. Recycling doesn't only help the environment, we can all benefit from recycling things from around the house, at the work or during our leisure time. There are also many new innovative ways to limit the garbage one should consider. Bands could be made out of plastic, we could stop printing, we could use digital documentation. Biodegradable plastics are also an option. Composting is to be made mandatory. 3D printing to reduce the amount of raw materials waste in the production. Energy could be created from organic waste, growing issues with e-waste. The first in vessel composting involved mixing food waste with garden waste, shredding it and then composing in a tunnel for around 2 to 4 weeks. Under temperatures of up to 70 Celsius, it speed up the process and kill any harmful microbes, which is then left for further 1 to 3 months with regular turning and checks to ensure quality before going to be used as soil conditioner. The second method, an aerobic digestion, uses microorganisms called methanogens to break down food waste, animal menu, and energy crops in the absence of oxygen inside of enclosed tank. As it breaks down, it gives off biogas, which is collected and used to generate electricity, heat, or transport fuels. It also creates biofertilizer that can be used in farming and land regeneration. Cans are sorted from auto waste, either by hand or by machine. The cans are then divided into metal types using magnets. Steel cans are separate, leaving aluminum cans to be shredded into small pieces. 
These small pieces of aluminum are then formed into blocks. The blocks are then put into a furnace and heater to over 750 degrees Celsius. Chemicals are added to improve the quality of the molten metal, which is then poured into molds and cooled by a curtain of water, and then rolled into very thin sheets, ready to be into more cans and can be back on the shelves in just six weeks. Since the start of the Industrial Revolution, there was a huge increase in industrialization, such as manufacturing and advanced mining technology. In return, there is an increase in pollution to the environment, such as trash and unwanted gases, which affects the climate of the world we live in. Therefore, for the past few decades, there has been a push on several organizations and countries to battle climate change by including sustainability into the way they operate and live. In other words, traditionally manufacturers have had limited insight in how customers use the products they make. Moving forward, technology will play a key role in helping businesses operate more efficiently and sustainably. According to NASA, converting logistical mass to useful products such as oxygen, water, rocket fuel, raw material production feedstocks, to thermal oxidation methods will help the environment. With modular phones, ability to reduce electronic garbage by being able to replace parts with new parts or technology instead of buying a new product. We also reduce the food waste. Through modular phones, we have the ability to reduce e-waste by being able to replace parts with newer parts or technology instead of buying a new product, reversing products into raw materials through conversion. For example, the Japanese invention of a machine able to convert plastic bath into oil. Products manufactured from biomass, for example, such as using biomass to manufacture chemicals, biodegradable plastics, algae. Research has begun to use algae as biofuel and biodiesel. Trash has and will always be a huge problem with both the society and the environment. There is an increasing need to educate people towards a more sustainable future, while the goal is towards a sustained-centric society. According to Wall, technology will play a key role in helping business operate more efficiently and sustainable.